This is YouTube. It's time for another YouTube. And as y'all seen in the caption, your boy got robbed. Crib got vandalized. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. I gotta do a tour after. My 70 inch smart TV that I paid for cash. Gone. But it's alright. It's just material. I'm not attached to material. It's just principle. You know, you know, your boy here, you know, he, he making his little moves, you know. We moving in silence. We're very militant. I don't really be tripping for real, for real like that. But uh, before we get into this video, I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe for you, boy. It's free. Why not? And no, I ain't trying to stun y'all with these glasses. It's just this light. It's very bright. And me standing to it too long, I can't see nothing. But I'm trying to look directly into the camera because I'm speaking to you. I'm talking to you. Me and you are having a conversation. I'm telling you what's going on with me. What happened? You feel me? So, further ado, let's get into this video. Let me do my little intro. It's getting hot in here. So, you tuned into it. It is getting so hot. You are watching just here. So look, we're going to get straight into it. But before we get straight into it and I tell y'all what happened, we're going to tell y'all how it started off. Uh, it started off October going into November. Uh, I had a little situation going on, court fees, bills, and stuff like that. And I wasn't behind on no bills, but I was like almost there. So I'm, I'm a person who likes to strategize, plan. I don't like to see my own demise. So, uh, I was like, I, I need to get a roommate for a uh, point in time and stuff like that. But it was like nobody who I, I really trust for real, or I didn't want a random person in my crib. So, uh, I ended up hitting somebody up. We ain't gonna say, man, we don't call him Splinter. If you know, you know, you know what Splinter mean, or you know where Splinter come from. So, uh, Splinter, uh, and I already had a conversation like probably a year prior and he wanted to move in. But I, I kind of was never going to let him move in because Splinter is something like when he don't have a source of income, a reliable source of income, don't really have nothing to his name, don't have nothing really going for himself in life. So that's a liability. You never want to give yourself liabilities. Okay? Rule number one, never give yourself liabilities. But I was in a predicament and I needed to make a sacrifice. So it was sacrificing my my crew, my my personal space, and sort of gone to my well being. Um, so I can be able to stack some cheese up and get my stuff in order. Because uh, at the time I was I was just preparing for the worst. I was preparing for the worst. Just trying to get my bills together. And it's it's good to low-key have a roommate, but you need to know that the roommate is good and y'all need to have rules and boundaries. So we're gonna get straight into it. So uh, October going into November, Splinter was moving in on November. I made sure Splinter gave me rent up front. I should have did two months advance, but I did one month advance because Splinter is a liability, which I said, and mind you, tips about splinter nobody fuck with splinter it's like splinter is shysty but splinter tried to be shysty with me and i i i, I stand on business so um nobody messed with splinter and i was like pretty much scratching his back he was scratching my eye Cause I need to say someone, you about to be homeless. Splinter was about to get kicked out by his sister. Splinter was standing in his sister's basement. Man, you about to get kicked out. So, I was looking out, you know, and I already told him from the get-go, you ain't gonna be staying here too long. Uh, a month or two tops. And depending on how it go, uh, I might, let you allow you to stay a little bit later and stuff, but we can work some stuff out. But this is 
you just got that room and just need you to pay the rent, stuff like that, don't be on no extra bull stuff. Immediately from the start, from the start after he moved his four mattresses, well, two mattresses and two box springs and his bookshelf that he turned into a TV stand in with his TV. Um, I, I ended up helping him out too. I gave him a, a mattress and a box spring. Box spring was fairly brand new. Mattress was fairly used, I don't know why you want it, but I guess he like his bed tall. So at this point he has like a six stacked bed. No headboard, no footboard. Jumping on that mug, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I gave him a bed because I, I already had a guest bed in that room. But the guest bed was like brand new. And I wasn't trying to get my brand new bed because my, my bed ain't brand new. So I was like, I'm gonna just move this in there and I was gonna throw it out. But he was like, no, let me get it, let me get it. I'm like, all right, go ahead. So, first red flags that Splinter did. First red flags was he was stealing packages from our neighbors. Why are you stealing packages from your neighbors? Why are you shitting and pissing where you lay your head? So, no, no. Why are you stealing from your neighbors, period? Why are you stealing, period? So, no, no. And he ended up stealing a tracking device. So stupid, his luck. And we uh, ended up, he ain't giving it back, he tossed the stuff. And that was that. He ended up taking my neighbor's phone and he was charging it all the way, tossed it out the window because he, he thought he stole his, his door to that He didn't even pay for it. And it was some Taco Bell, Taco Bell. So, that, that was a couple of red flags he did. Another red flag, he was taking pictures of my whole crib. You know, like how people move into a brand new apartment or something like that, or a brand new place that show the keys and post a little picture on Instagram of them showing the keys, like, yeah, right. yeah, I did that. He did the same stuff, but you didn't pay for nothing in the crib, then you only have one room. You should've did it in that room and <laughs> Posted a key or whatever. Because you didn't pay for nothing in this room. You didn't attain any of this thing. It's like a, a vacation crib for you for right now. Or an Airbnb type thing. Let's just say it like that. And he was posting just different miscellaneous pictures of the crib. I had to tell him, like, stop taking pictures of the crib. Like, you you, you doing too much. Like, I don't know why you so fanned out or you want to show the whole world exactly what's going on every moment in your life stupidity and it's unnecessary so that's another thing another one was in that short span of the time he stayed there which was like two to three months he had like 20 people in my crib male and females like and one of them was smoking a black amount on my couch when i told him like get that shit out of here i told him like no i don't even know why you allowed that to happen I woke up and smelled it like, is that a black and mild in my crib? Slipping. Slipping. But that's besides the point of stuff like that. Uh, those little red flags, and It's at the point where I'm like, I'm getting tired of it. I, I just do what I can and try to manage the bills by myself. So... As it was approaching the time for me to kick him out, I was going to kick him out of 2024, January 1st, 2024, the brand new year. He wasn't gonna see the crib in that. But I just started a brand new job. So I wanted to be like kind of up on a little stuff, kind of get myself a, a little leverage and stuff. So I was gonna allow him to stay in February. Uh, some of the rent, we had the rent paid. And his g paid it or whatever. I don't know if his g called for a refund or her stuff bounced, but I ended up checking the accounts in January and the balance was in the negative. It's crazy that in December, the account balance was zero. And then in January, it went to negative. So once I realized that, I told him, I was like, I need the 1400 I need the 1400 by the end of the week. Where you out? Type joint. And uh, 
I put a lot. I put a lot, I put a lock on the room that I was allowing them to stay in. You know what I'm saying? You you don't have no access to this room until you give me my 1400. I, I find that fair because I could have just kicked you out and told you, you do whatever you do. I'll get my 1400, how I do it. You just gotta go do that stuff somewhere else. So you gotta play the crib, I mean, play, play the couch for, until you give me my money. When you get my money, you can have access to the room again, which is fair, because he be on the couch most of the time anyways, watching my TV. So I told him that, left off for uh for work and stuff like that. He didn't say nothing, he ain't say no extra stuff, he ain't he ain't step up, do like nah, I ain't I ain't messing with it. He's just like alright. So uh ended up going to work. When I came back, pretty kinda it wasn't really messed up. But I started to notice things that was gone, like my black cat fours, both pairs of my Pradas, Cloud, Cloudburst Thunder, uh, my Panda Dunks, and my Foam Posit All Stars. It just shows the materialistic things. I'm, I'm not attached to materialistic things. It just be principle. That was gone. Two of my winter coats, a North Face and a Guest Coat. Ain't nothing to it. Ain't no Canada Goose. Ain't no Montclair. Ain't nothing too much. You need these coats. My 70 inch TV. <laughs> 70 inch smart TV. The food in the fridge. Some loose quarters in my room. And uh, left a hole in the uh, in the in the door of that uh, in the room that I was allowing him to stay in. I'm gonna show y'all that afterwards. And you know he owed me 1,400. So I got back to the crib, uh, text him, I was like, I need all my stuff back by the end of the week, you know, or, or else I'm gonna file a police report because I'm not about to come chase you, I ain't about to find you, I ain't about to give you no threats, I ain't about to, that's doing too much, I'm not, I'm not about to chase you and try to find you for that stuff, I don't really give a fuck, you just file a police report like a man. Cause you, you can't face me like a man and do whatever you do, man, now you, you ain't wanna face me, so I ain't gonna face you. Why would I give you the satisfaction and do some stuff and fuck myself up? So, yeah, let me show y'all. <laughs> let me show y'all. So I already got a new coat. You know, it ain't it ain't nothing to get stuff. I still got some of my shoes. I got hella other shoes in the room. I'm not tripping. Look at this. This is this is actually what irritated me for real for real it's just just looking at the wall like damn my 70 inch tv gone <laughs> i promise you everybody who's seen that all the people i called and stuff they was way more mad than i was so i really don't care it's just principle this is the the whole of africa y'all seen that in an instagram video if you know you know we made a little skit off of it and he uh put a hole in it, I guess, to, to get in the room or whatever. He grabbed all this stuff. That's where he was staying at. I cleaned it up and stuff. It's kind of messy in here. Yeah, I got a trampoline and stuff. And then he uh, broke my door to try to get in my room. I guess he was going to try to take my camera or my MacBook, but I'm not completely stupid. I, I, I put some of my stuff up. So like, if that was out, he would have he would have grabbed that as well. But yeah, don't don't allow people to be in your crib. That you you need to fully trust them, have a conversation with them, and you need to have them sign paperwork. If you had them sign paperwork, you can't have no liability and stuff like that. My my door was broke too, and yeah. So, yeah, let, let her in for me. Let her in for me. Tell me how y'all feel about all this stuff. And uh, I ended up hitting him up, and he, he was trying to claim that he didn't do anything. But you're, you're the only person to have access and entry to my credit and stuff like that. And if you, he said he was going to give me the 1400 If you were going to give me the 1400 and he wasn't on do anything, you wouldn't have put the hole in the door. 
you can put a hole in the door, took the TV and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know what bag people be in. Broke stuff. I got food in my fridge, not too light. It's, you don't be tripping. It's kind of bad. It look bad in there. But yeah, I got a little something in there. <laughs> but it's just like, just watch when you surround yourself around and stuff like that. I already made my circle tighter. He wasn't really necessarily in my circle. So I, I wasn't too much. It didn't too much surprise me. It just like a little setback, but I'm not attached to the materialistic things. Only thing that I'm most upset about, for real, for real, is my TV and a 1400, you know. But I was already going to chalk the 1400 up as an L and kick him out because I didn't want him here anymore. It was like very much of a liability. The TV, let me get a brand new TV, it ain't nothing. Money ain't, ain't no money shortages over here. We was just trying to get right and be responsible. So, yeah. Put in the comments, let me know a situation where y'all messed up and y'all could have made some changes. Not necessarily that y'all regret, but something that made y'all change how y'all move and stuff like that. And go ahead, cook me, man. Shoot, I made a mistake. We all make mistakes, we, mistakes we're human. You feel me? And I'm gonna keep pushing. It's a story time video for y'all. Make sure y'all like that video for me. And Splinter, if you see this, you know what's up, man. No retaliation. I let God do my uh my fighting for real, for real. You know, you know what's up. We know you scared. Are you scared? You ain't scared. You can't. A little skinny cell. Can you can't do nothing with me? But it's all right. Um, more videos coming soon. More skits coming soon. Your boy Air on a come up. Thank you for listening. I appreciate y'all. That being said, air out. Bye, have a great time.